Okay, we're going to talk about different torch tips. They all don't put out the same amount of heat. Uh, so we're going to go over that a bit. Also, different gases, propane versus MAP gas. MAP gas is about 30% hotter. If you can't get whatever you're working on hot enough to melt the rod with propane, you may have to switch to MAP gas or even use two torches. Also, we're going to talk about different melting points. Aluminum melts about 1,230 degrees. The rod melts at 735 degrees. It's impossible to touch the rod to something at 735 degrees and it not melt. So your aluminum, there's a 500 degree difference there. Now on very, very thin stuff, look at my can video where I do the side of a soda can. I burn a hole in it real quick and then I control my heat with distance and then I can take my time even get the rod to be melted on the side of the soda can. It's about heat control. There's no way you can burn a hole in aluminum before the rod melts if you follow the correct procedures and control your heat. It's easy to burn a hole. I'll burn a hole in a, in a thicker piece of aluminum today to show you. It's not impossible to do it, but you're not following the instructions or using the torch correctly. The problem's not with the rod. The problem's with the left hand and the torch. So let's get to the video. I want to talk to you about torches. This is typically what a lot of people use is like a $12 tip. That's the maximum amount of heat you'll get. This is a burns o -Matic TS-8000. Much more heat. This is propane. You can also go to MAP gas and it will be much hotter. Okay, we've been getting a few uh, incidents where people are having trouble getting the aluminum hot enough. I'm gonna go over this again. Okay, first we're gonna clean this piece of aluminum. The spot they're clean, roughed up. Now, if I'm going to use this torch, which you saw at the beginning, not much heat. I may be here a month and never get it hot enough. That's dissipating heat, air is flowing through it, it's cooling the aluminum as fast as I can get heat to it, it's dissipating the heat. So I got to go up to a different torch tip. Still propane, way more heat. If this isn't going to be hot enough, I can always go to map gas, 30% hotter than the propane. If I'm really having trouble, even with map gas, I can use two torches. The key is you gotta get more heat to it than it can dissipate. You gotta get more heat to it faster than it can dissipate. So now I'm gonna use this burns matic TS-8000 torch. It puts out a lot of heat. I can turn it down and I'm gonna do that so like you can hear me, so it's adjustable as well. Okay, so I'm gonna apply heat. I'm going to be impatient like some people do and, and because if you're using the wrong tip, you're going to get impatient because you'll be there 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes and never get it hot enough. With high heat, I'm going to start working that rod in the flame. I'm going to turn it down. So and, and this is what a lot of people do. Some videos I see out with a demo do this. And it's just going to fall off and say, it won't stick. I get calls saying it won't stick. Well, we don't ever stick that way because you're working the rod in the flame. The rod melts 500 degrees before the aluminum does. What you got to do is get this hot enough to melt the rod. And there's no guesswork. You apply heat. Move the flame and check it. Apply more heat. Check it. Don't take the torch away. We have people that do this. Apply heat. They check it. I'm in here for an hour, can't get it hot enough. Well, you're never gonna get it hot enough. You gotta keep adding heat. And then, they get impatient to be there a long time, they burn a hole in their aluminum. They're not checking, you see that? Now it's hot enough. I'm not even, don't even have the flame there and the aluminum's melting the rod. Now it penetrates into the pores and it's a bond. It's really that simple. You're making it way harder than it is. Once again, apply heat, work that rod in the flame, it's just going to fall off. Some people say I got to use a piece of steel to hold it there and then I add, you check out the thickness of this. And watch my heat control video out there where I do the same thing, I'm going to do this thicker piece to a can, I did it to a can. They say the aluminum melted before the aluminum, the aluminum melted before the rod did. Well here's what they do, what you, what's happening, you apply heat. And then you check it, you check it, and you get tired of checking it, you keep the torch on it. Well, eventually, I 
waited 10 minutes. It melted down there. If you're not checking it often enough, you can burn a hole in your aluminum. But there's no reason to do that. And then once you get the rod working back to heat up, don't stay down here. I've been working all day long up here. Down here, I'm going to burn a hole in it. And I'll do that on purpose just to show you. burned a hole in it. See there? But it wasn't before the rod melted. The rod melted way before that. It's scientifically impossible to touch this rod to something like aluminum. And when this melts 500 degrees before the aluminum melt, you tell me how it's possible to get the aluminum to melt before this. Tell me how that happens. <laughs> All right. Now, we'll solve that one. Now we're going to uh, put copper to aluminum in our next video.